Sunday night football is the pinnacle of the NFL calendar. It is the best games, and with their flexible scheduling, they, they make sure that they get the best games. And da, na, 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 you know, Tariko, Collins were sliding on in there, this guy, all, all that stuff. But the question is, the Minnesota Fighting Vikings, who were not scheduled originally to uh, appear on Sunday night football at all, could and should they be flexed at any point? Now, there's a lot of questions about the Bills games, but the deadline to flex uh, the Vikings-Bills game is already passed, but so it sort of is what it is. Now, here is the uh, from uh, the NFL, straight from the horse's mouth, in terms of flexing on uh, Sunday Night Football. Uh, 2022 flexible scheduling procedures. Flexible scheduling be used weeks 11 through 18. Additionally, weeks 5 through 10, blah, 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 blah. For week 18, blah, 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 blah. Fe- flexible scheduling will not be applied to games uh, airing on Thursday or Monday night. So it's got to be a Sunday afternoon game, a little bit juicy matchup, uh, and also the Sunday Night Football that they have tentatively scheduled. It has to suck, and then they're like, all right, swappy swap. Swappy swap. There you go. And then... Flexible scheduling 101. Uh, begin Sunday week 5. In effect, weeks 5 through 18. Up to two games may be flexed into Sunday night between uh, weeks 5 through 10. They didn't flex any this year uh, during that window. Only Sunday afternoon games. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, no impact on Thursday or Monday. No poop. Uh, the NFL will decide after consultation with CBS, Fox, NBC and announce as early as possible the game being played 8.15 p.m. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, the announcement. Here we go. Uh, will come no later than 12 days prior to the game. So the Vikings Bills deadline was Tuesday. That passed. Whatever. Uh, the NFL may announce games moving from 405 to 425. Uh, also, so they could take a noon game, flex it to you know one of the late windows in in the afternoon. Uh, America's game of the week, etc. And it, it's always. Uh, a little bit of a bickering war. Like, yes, CBS, NBC, and Fox, like, they all work with the National Football League. But uh, if you're CBS or Fox and you got just a, an absolute plum uh, of a Sunday afternoon matchup, the NBC's like, yoinks, our matchup. There you go. Uh, week 18. So I, I like that they don't even schedule a game week 18. They're just like, hey, whichever game has the most playoff implications we take uh the NBC sunday night uh flex uh spot uh, slot in flex weeks will be listed the game blah 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 uh fans and ticket holders must be aware that the nfl games and flex weeks are subject to change 12 days in advance six days a week 18 and should plan accordingly yes uh, nfl schedules all games who else would schedule it me uh, probably not but yeah fans uh Fans need to keep their heads on a swivel when it comes to, hey, this game could get flexed, or if they buy tickets to what they think is going to be a Sunday night game, maybe one or both teams go down the crapper and they could swap there. But uh, since uh, Vikings-Bills uh, it has not been swapped, uh, looking at the rest of the schedule, games that could be swapped, and uh, you know, Cowboys makes sense. Uh, Patriots is already on Thursday night football. They may may not swap Cowboys because then the Vikings will play Sunday night, and then they will play Thursday night. So that's an extremely short window. Uh, you got the Jets in there as well. Colts not going to happen. Lions not going to happen. Uh, Giants maybe. Packers are going to be way out of it, and then the Bears. Well, that, that game will have zero playoff implications for Chicago, so that's not going to be either. So I, I think there are three. Possible Sunday night football flexes for the Vikings, mainly because uh, the current Sunday night football game is pretty foobar. So week 11, like we mentioned, Cowboys at Vikings, historic U.S. Bank Stadium. Let's go. Uh, They currently have Bengals and Steelers, which, I mean, on paper that should look good, but the Steelers, and also the Bengals without Jamar Chase, I mean, and not not so much. Then you got week 13, Jets and the Vikings. Vikings and the Jets. Just adding another chapter to the dumbest rivalry in sports history. Currently, it's Colts Cowboys. So you got Sam Ellinger and Deion Jackson visiting the Cowboys versus Matt Ryan and Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Cool. And they got Week 16 Giants and Vikings. Uh, also, these play into you know, major teams and major media markets. So you got the Cowboys, who I mean the NFL loves putting in prime time. And then you got the Jets and Giants, the New Jersey market. Nailed it. So Giants, Vikings. Uh, also, that one could have uh, implications uh, in terms of, uh, well, Giants are going to catch the Eagles, so never mind. I was going to say that could have implications for the two seed, but probably not. Uh, and the current game is currently Bucks at Cardinals. Uh, that would be a mid-off. Mm. Uh, so I think the Vikings do have a chance uh, to have a couple of their games flex into Sunday Night Football. Yeah, it's not going to be the Bills, because, like we said, because that deadline has already passed. Uh, but uh, keep keep those eyes open. Plus, I, I think all the games are going to be 
Well, probably at historic U.S. Bank Stadium. So that's going to be awesome. That that stadium is going to be rocking. You got all day to tailgate. People are going to be bum bum skull all damn day long. Love to see it, man. Love to see it. And oh, Kirk Cousins doesn't play well in primetime. Shut up. Shut your face. They got to learn because guess what? They put the best teams in prime time, and this is one of the best teams. So I mean, next year the Vikings. Uh, th- I mean, this year the Vikings only had one. Uh, well. Two primetime games, you know, the Thursday night game uh, against uh, the Patriots on Thanksgiving, and then also, of course, Monday night against the Eagles. How'd that go? But, yeah, big-time teams playing big-time games in primetime spots. They got to step up. Got to step up, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Could the Vikings be flexing into Sunday night football? We talk about if and where. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. We'll support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.